Okay, so I asked you guys to come up with your best historical themed enclosure for the historical themed enclosure competition and you didn't disappoint. Now we didn't get as many entries this time, but I think that the standard is way up there and I hope you enjoy these as much as possible. So the first thing I'm gonna do is show you my own enclosure. It's a World War II themed enclosure. Obviously I can't take part in the competition because I am the host. But I'm going to share that with you anyway, and then the other contestants will have a number up in the top corner of the screen. All you have to do is, once you've watched the video, is put the number of your favourite one in the comment section below, and the one with the most votes by the end of the week will win. Um, please do share the video around, share your favourite enclosures, um, try and get as many people to vote for you as you can if you are one of the contestants. But please remember that only... Uh, comments on the actual video will count so please send them a link and get them to go on the video to uh, make sure their vote counts and that is it so without further ado let's go on and have a look at the enclosures okay so here is my world war ii themed enclosure for the historical themed enclosure build so uh, a few things in here uh, the tank was an airfix model that i made up and then uh, made to look rusty uh, so open it up and have a little look inside so I've connected some LEDs into the lid all the uh, walls and brickwork that you can see is handmade from um, air drying clay and that was a real labour of love I can tell you uh, along with the beams and everything that's all handmade uh, inside the broken building if I can take you inside you can see we've got uh, some furniture amongst the rubble. Uh, it's all been wallpapered with wallpaper from the time. Uh, the fireplace is blown through. Wallpaper on the inside. All the posters on the wall at the back here are all um, real replicas of propaganda posters from World War II. And the backdrop that you can see here is a um, real photograph of london bombings in world war ii so yeah loads of history in this one i've also wired up the street lamp so that's working uh, we've got some oil drums and stuff laying around and there we are so that is my world war ii themed enclosure really really happy about this one came out yeah it's been a fun little project this one
Misha. For this man. So thank you, Lou, for putting this competition on. So what we've got here is the guillotine. So we've gone on overgrown look, so it'll be more suitable and be able to fit a bit more in it. So we're marking the end of the use of the guillotine. This was prolific in the French Revolution. But let's get back to the build, which is I made the guillotine completely by hand. The blade doesn't move, so we're not going to be beheading any spiders anytime soon. We have a brick back or ground, which I also made. And then I made a hide down there, nice and dark and snug. And obviously the French flag. That's with the add of moss. Quite pleased with how this has gone. Any? Yeah, it's a very different idea, obviously, in a boreal spider setup. So, we're going to be putting a pokey. I think I've got a poker theory on Miranda that will. Oh, she's quite a bit, bit of a webber, so she might make it look really, really cool. But there you go. Thank you very much, Lee. I'm a spider freak. Are you a spider freak? Hi guys, Danielle from Rocky Mountain Spider Freaks here. And I am recording my enclosure build for Lee Creature Features competition. And this is inspired by the Walk Like a YouTuber contest. It is Egypt. These are my pyramids and my camels. And the back of one of the pyramids, there is a hide. I can't see very well, but you can get, there's a hide in that temple. Everything in there has been sealed with aquarium safe silicone. So yeah, this is my very first ever enclosure build. It is for a scorpion. And yeah, so there's my entry. Subscribe to Lee's Creature Features on YouTube by hitting the bell icon. Do it now! You got to do it now!